on my setup here, I've got the APC40 Mark II, and this controls the whole setup. So on each one of these tracks, I've got a different sound from track one, two, three, and four. I'm controlling all my loops, all my back tracks, all my stems from my tracks. On track five, six, seven, and eight, I've got all my instrument tracks. Um, and this basically just allows me to control the whole setup from this one piece of equipment here. So I've also got all my effects running here, so I can add in delay and reverb to vocals, uh, to any of my instruments, um, and it just gives me a bit of creative freedom into uh, basically creating something from scratch. Um, so I'm just going to give you a little example of how I loop. Um, so I'll start with just a little basic loop running, add something else to give it a bit of beat. And then the first thing I'll loop is the piano. So each one of these audio tracks has its own built-in looper. And then I, I basically, when I press one of these buttons here, it sends um, a signal to the loop and it activates the loop and it's set to auto loop. So as I'm done, it'll auto loop um, and then it'll just carry on looping from there. I can add on layers on top of that. Um, so this is kind of what it sounds like. So it's set to auto loop, that will just carry on playing. So now you can even do another layer on top of that. So I've had a more of a lower register uh, piano. I want to go for something a bit higher. I can just play that and it'll, it'll loop on top of that. So now that will loop. Next thing I can add is some guitar. So that will also just auto loop. So you can add just multiple layers of looping on top. And that's just kind of how you can get a bit more of a fuller sound. Um, Instead of just doing one loop, you add in more layers and it just gives more dynamics to the sound. So now I press, now it's, it's stopped the auto loop. Now I can just play on top of that. thing I can add is some MS-20, give it a bit of a synth sound. So now that's also looping on top. And now when I turn the auto loop off, now I can add in layers on top of that, so I can just do a bit of improv and just kind of um, create something from scratch.